Good afternoon, and welcome to Northwestern Oklahoma State University. Please remain standing while the Ranger Band presents a national anthem, and please remain standing for the invitation. States, only 
of our adult population has earned a bachelor's degree. The fact that you have earned a college degree makes each of you special, but your status as a college graduate also comes with a personal responsibility to provide service and leadership to your community. People will look to you for ideas to make our communities stronger and better places to live. Embrace this responsibility and the call to service. Our university motto of learn today, lead tomorrow has never been more relevant than it is today. Before I introduce this afternoon's speaker, allow me a moment to welcome two special guests to our ceremony. We are honored to have two members of the Board of Regents for the Regional University System of Oklahoma here today to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. We welcome Regent Connie Riley of Ohima. And Regent Mike Mitchell of Alpha, a Northwestern graduate. We would welcome both of them to today's ceremony. Thank you both for taking the time to be with us this afternoon. This afternoon's speaker is an example of a Northwestern graduate who has accepted this call to service and leadership. Mark Van Landingham was named Vice President of Government Relations for the Greater Oklahoma City Chamber in February of 2009. He had previously been involved with the Chamber as a volunteer, serving as a member of its Board of Advisors and the Government Relations Steering Committee. He joined the Chamber after working for 19 years at Kermagee Corporation and three years at Tronox. Van Landingham joined Kermagee in 1986 as a litigation attorney and served in that capacity for 12 years before relocating to Washington, D.C. to become the company's manager of federal government relations. After two years in Washington, D.C., he returned to Oklahoma City to serve as Kermagee's director of state government relations. In 2006, he joined Tronox, the chemical subsidiary of Kermagee, when it was spun off and became an independent company. He served as that company's Vice President of Government Relations for three years before joining the Oklahoma City Chamber. Van Landingham is a 1983 graduate of Northwestern Oklahoma State University and the University of Oklahoma College of Law. He is a member of the steering committee for the Oklahoma Prosperity Project, a board member of Oklahoma City Crime Stoppers, and a member of Rotary. He and his wife, Crystal, live in Edmond with their two sons, Benjamin and Caden. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me in welcoming Mark Van Lannan. President Cunningham, regents, faculty, graduates, parents and friends, it's great to be back in Alpha at Northwestern for this ceremony. My memories of Percival Fieldhouse date all the way back to the 1960s when my dad would bring me here to watch the women play basketball and continued right up through my college days. Congratulations to all of you who will be receiving a degree this afternoon. As an alumni, I can tell you that it will serve you well and you can rest assured that this university has you prepared not only for the opportunities but also the challenges in front of me. Just over 25 years ago, I was sitting in your chair as part of the class of 1983. So I think I have a pretty good idea of what may be going through your head right now, an after party. <laughs> so I'll be brief. When I left here in 1983, I'd been accepted into law school at the University of Oklahoma. Up until that point, I'd never lived outside of Alva, I knew no one in Mormon and had no idea whether I'd make it through the first semester, much less the whole three years of law school. So I, perhaps like many of you, was facing many challenges. As I started law school, however, I had a strong belief 
that I was pursuing a profession that I would enjoy. And I think it's important that you do the same. Because if your work is compatible with your interests, you're going to be more dedicated and ultimately you'll reach a higher level of satisfaction. So find something and put your heart into it. Today, however, it's necessary to add something else to that piece of advice. And that's this. You should not only anticipate that you will change jobs several times during your career, and perhaps change careers, you must also prepare for it. It's no longer safe to believe that you'll be able to keep the same job as long as you want it. So take time to build relationships with those who are in your profession and outside of it. And develop a network to expand the number of folks who become familiar with you and the quality of your work. When I graduated, the plan for many of us was to find a job, move up the corporate ladder, build a pension plan, and retire. That model can no longer be relied on. Work at keeping yourself marketable. I learned that the amount of money that you make will not be the measure of your success. However, a guy named Zig Ziglar once said, money is right up there with oxygen on the gotta have it scale. <laughs> so it is important that you do well in your profession. And if I could offer you one piece of advice on how to do it, it would be this. Act like a professional and work harder and smarter than all of those around you. Take a few extra minutes to prepare, prepare yourself for every meeting and for every obstacle you expect to encounter. Stay a little later and do your job a little bit better than even you believe it needs to be done. If you do this day after day, year after year, you will be rewarded. As an example, I did make it through law school and went to work for a big oil and gas company in Oklahoma City. One day, after 12 years with the company, I was asked to come upstairs and visit with one of the company's top executives. During that meeting, I was asked to consider moving to Washington, D.C. to become an advocate for Congress, a lobbyist, a profession that, right up until the day I became one, I had ranked near the bottom of the food chain. Well, I'd never been to D.C. and certainly had no experience working with members of Congress. However, after thinking it over, I told the company, yes, I'll do that. I remember flying to Washington, D.C. for the first time and looking out over the Potomac River and seeing the Washington Monument and wondering to myself whether I would be up for the challenge. So here's another suggestion. Don't be afraid to take a chance. You won't have to make a huge career change or move across the country to do that. But you can put yourself in places outside of your comfort zone. Become involved in civic organizations, take up new activities, and expand your boundaries into unfamiliar areas. There's no saying, if you're the smartest person in the room, then you're probably in the wrong room. So my advice is to reach your potential by constantly challenging yourself and see what doors begin to open for you. I was at church a couple of weeks ago and the pastor said, don't let who you were yesterday limit who you are today or who you may become tomorrow. Remember that every day will present you with an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to learn, and an opportunity to improve yourself. Each day will also present you with an opportunity to stay in the same place. What you do with each of those days is up to you, and who you will become is only going to be limited by your imagination and your desire. On an April day back in 1995, a rider truck pulled up two blocks from where I was working and blew up the North Federal Building, taking the lives of 168 victims, including the infant son of a friend who works down the hall. It was, at the time, the most significant act of terrorism ever on American soil. Six years later, I was in a meeting about a mile from the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., when a hijacked airplane was flown into that building, killing 184. So why am I sharing this with you? It's to make you understand that life is not always going to be fair, and that you are guaranteed nothing, not even tomorrow. At some point, the wrong person is going to be promoted over you. You or a loved one will be the victim of a grossly unjust act or decision, and you'll learn the hard way that the good guys won't always win. So graduates, as you leave Northwestern, all of us here want you to do well. 
However, it's just as important that you do good. Remember to be kind to others, to help those who are less fortunate, and to do the little things that are so easy to forget, like thanking a parent or grandparent who helped pay part of the college tuition. Because I can promise you the days and the years will go by quicker than you can ever imagine. As you prepare to move on, I'm reminded of a quote by Theodore Roosevelt, who once said, Anytime you're faced with having to make a decision, the best thing to do is the right thing. The next best is to do the wrong thing. And the worst thing is to do nothing. So graduates, it's now your turn to go do something. Do it well. Ride, ride, ride. Best of luck to all of you. Before conferring the degrees, I would inform family members that they are invited to take photographs with the graduates. You may come to the west side of the stage, but please stay clear of the immediate west side of the stage. We will provide a photograph of each graduate to them. To them. President Cunningham, on behalf of the faculty of Northwestern Oklahoma State University, I certify that the candidates seated in the reserve section and those whose names are listed in the program have satisfactorily completed the prescribed requirements for the appropriate master's degree as authorized by the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education in this university. I recommend that the appropriate master's degree be conferred on these candidates. By the authority vested in me, by the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education, acting through Northwestern Oklahoma State University, I hereby confer on each candidate the master's degree for which he or she qualifies. Will the candidates for the master's degree please rise and proceed to the stage?
President Cunningham, on behalf of the faculty of Northwestern Oklahoma State University, I certify that the candidates seated in the reserve session and those whose names are listed in the program have satisfactorily completed the prescribed requirements for the appropriate baccalaureate degree as authorized by the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education in this university. I recommend that the appropriate baccalaureate degree be conferred on these candidates. By the authority vested in me by the Oklahoma State Regents for Higher Education, acting through Northwestern Oklahoma State University, I hereby confer on each candidate the baccalaureate degree for which he or she qualifies. The candidates for the baccalaureate degree, please rise and proceed to the platform. Pamela J. McCleary, Bachelor of Science Education. Bachelor of Science Education. Amy Shireen Duke, Bachelor of Science Education. Dina Chantel Reed, Bachelor of Science Education. Bridget Ann Chestnut, Bachelor of Science Education. <laughs> Whitney Nicole Pankratz, Bachelor of Science Education. <laughs> Sonia Jane Honaker, Bachelor of Science Education. Melissa D. Shepard, Bachelor of Science Education, Magna Cum Laude. Yeah. Jennifer N. Milam, Bachelor of Arts Education. Misty K. Owings, Bachelor of Arts Education, Cum Laude. Rhonda K. Stewart, Bachelor of Science Education. <laughs> Sherry L. Ward, Bachelor of Science Education. <laughs> Jordan Leon, Bachelor of Science. Michael A. McCowan, Bachelor of Science. Hunter Duke Nunley, Bachelor of Science. Kai Lavity Flyer, Bachelor of Science. Lindy Elizabeth Nickel, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Jamie Lee Peters, Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Mark Eugene Peters, Bachelor of Arts. Adrian Trejo, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Candace Dawn Heron, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Catherine Goodno, Bachelor of Science. 
Bachelor of Science. And Sean Smith Norris, Bachelor of Science. Jennifer Jean Williams, Bachelor of Science. Lissy L. King, Bachelor of Science. Jillian Marie Morris, Bachelor of Science. Bradley Lynn Cornelie, Bachelor of Science. Landon Gray Fields, Bachelor of Science. Thomas Nicewanger, Bachelor of Science. Brody Wade Bush, Bachelor of Science. Kendra Elizabeth Schnabel, Bachelor of Science. Hillary Nida, Bachelor of Science. Joy L. Nightingale, Bachelor of Science. Jordan Alaska Lytle, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Lisa R. Ernest, Bachelor of Science. Andrea Nicole Miller, Bachelor of Science Education. Kimber Ann Ebish, Bachelor of Science. Vic Desai, Bachelor of Science. Kendall Ronald Reynolds, Bachelor of Science. Courtney Barber, Bachelor of Science. Jonathan Day Elder, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude. Clint Cohen, Bachelor of Science. Marcus Sorrell, Bachelor of Science. Brayley, Bachelor of Arts. Sarah Alice Easter, Bachelor of Science. Christopher Lauderdale, Bachelor of Science. Taryn Jill Williams, Bachelor of Science. Catherine Joanne Martin, Bachelor of Science. Gail Elaine Fritz, Bachelor of Science Education, Cum Laude. Kendra K. Rambat, Bachelor of Science Education. Jesse Aline Seeger Ross, Bachelor of Science Education. <laughs> Rebecca Sheree Stanton, Bachelor of Science Education, Cum Laude. <laughs> Danielle Marie. 
Marie Corneli, Bachelor of Science. Jacob Tyler Sweet, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Billy Caster, Bachelor of Science Education. <laughs> Kelly Dawn Campbell, Bachelor of Science Education. Malia Marie McMurphy, Bachelor of Science Education. <laughs> Eric Douglas Wiederstein, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Jeffrey B. Kane, Bachelor of Science. Ty Caleb Burks, Bachelor of Science Education. Dana Gandolfo, Bachelor of Arts. Teddy Howard Solman, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. Lonnie Jo Lawson, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Sabra Ann Credit, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Shauna Ann Corrigan, Bachelor of Science. Thomas William Corrigan II, Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Terry R. Edwards, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> H. Sylvia Q. Ralph, Bachelor of Arts. Ray Daggs, Bachelor of Science Education. Jennifer Lynn Scroggins, Bachelor of Science Education. David Dwayne Cummings, Bachelor of Science. Bachelor of Science. Clay Tyler Leischer, Bachelor of Science Education. Tyler Hamilton Dowell, Bachelor of Science Education. Levi J. Thompson, Bachelor of Arts. Megan Elaine Carey, Bachelor of Science. Casey Michelle Kipton, Bachelor of Science. David Wayne Matthews, Bachelor of Science. Aaron Whitney Abernathy, Bachelor of Science, Cum Laude. <laughs> Elaine Hutchins, Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Cody Joe Sheck, Bachelor of Science. <laughs> Clay Allen Hamill, Bachelor of Science. Lynn David Lawfrey, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude. Virgie J. Blankenship, Bachelor of Science, Summa Cum Laude.
Ronald Lee Sherrod, Bachelor of Science. Guests are attended to, uh, invited to attend a reception in the ballroom located on the second floor of the student center immediately following this ceremony. For your convenience, the bookstore will be open so that you can purchase your Northwestern souvenirs. The bookstore is also located in the student center. Please rise for the alma mater and remain standing for the benediction. The words to the alma mater are printed on the back of your program.